I created this campaign without owning the earrings, without studio and without the camera. Just a few AI tools. If you want your product visuals to look like they're coming from the same editorial shoot, this is the few steps that you need to take to get consistent results. Step number one, find a good style reference. Can be Pinterest or mood board, anything that matches the vibe. Step number two, go to Mid Journey, upload a style reference and generate a few shots with a product that's similar to yours. I use this GPT agent to help me brainstorm prompts with different angles based on the look I'm going for. Step number three, go to clay.ai and upload that results as jewelry templates. Let's generate a photo session with our style references. We will be using two types of templates, one with models and one without models, more like a product lifestyle shot. Let me show you two different flows. So uh, let's go to AI Fashion Models and choose Jewelry. Go to My Models. I already uploaded some of the models that I generated. Now let's upload our product. So this is our product and click Generate. Actually, we need to delete the Minimal 6 Studios environment as this template has a lot of action in there. Okay, so we've got our results. And this one is actually pretty close, almost identical with the uh, original template. Let's try another flow by using the background. Go to AI background templates, go to my templates. We will need to upload the background here. Upload the image of your background. So we need to have, so we need to make an extra step here. We need to remove another default product from this background. Go to brush and just choose the bigger size and remove these default earrings. That's it. Click save image as a template and it will appear there in the image template. Now we need to upload an image of our earrings. To use them on the template, we need to clean the old background. Go to remove background and click apply operation. It will use our general background removal. Interesting case, as our earrings are kind of on a stick, it preserved both earrings and the sticks, uh, but there is a way to fix it. Click on interactive background removal. It will open the area and you can choose what to keep and what to remove. So this has the highest level of control. Okay, as you can see, it's all in green, so it all keeps. So click on red, remove, and start selecting the area. Okay, we kill the area. It's a little bit here. Now let's get it back. Okay. All right. This should do. Click apply operation. Great. So background is removed. Let's go to the templates. Select the template. Now we need to fit our earrings onto this template. You can rotate them, you can move them around. Make sure that you use the generation model V2, that's the oldest one, and put them on the branch. So as we want to preserve uh, the, our template, I would recommend to use medium creativity level. Uh, you can try a few examples, click generate. Okay, and this is our results pretty close to the, our template with a little bit of difference in light. Uh, so, and that's it. That's how you create consistent photo shoots with different angles and different templates all across your shop. And that's it. That's the whole shoot. No gear, just AI. If you need a detailed instructions, uh, including the agent that I'm using for prompts, follow the link in my description.